Now, the Fiscal Responsibility Commission, FRC, on, on, uh, has raised the concerns about bank lending in a way that goes contrary uh, to Section 45 of the Fiscal Responsibility Act, which indicates that banks should get proof of compliance from, uh, from sub-nationals before uh, loan disbursement. The Executive Chairman of the FROC, Victor Muralko, spoke about the potential risk and severe consequences this could have for both banks and the nation's economy. He did say that current realities have shown that banks are in breach of this, and it is not healthy for uh, financial stability and the economy by extension. There's no gain saying that Section 41 and 44 of FRA 2007 is targeted at effective control of borrowing by subnational governments. In addition, it is to prevent the insolvency of subnational governments and assuring national fiscal sustainability. One thing is that systemic subnational insolvency may impede the growth of capital markets. It is about exploring ways to make the good sustainability better tomorrow. We note with a sense of alarm that none of these loans pass through FRC, the basic test of compliance. This 100% failure rate is enough to warrant a discussion on this measure. Now, for the speakers, there is a need for political will and a buying in by the executives for proper implementation uh, of, the, of the act. Institutions are expected to obtain what is called proof of compliance, okay, from the Fiscal Responsibility Commission before going ahead to lend to states. But over the years, we've seen, as I said earlier on, the observance of that in the breach. Okay, states hardly. Uh, banks, financial institutions hardly, uh, you know, go for this uh, proof of, um, you know, compliance, okay, which would have gone a long way to, if you like, um, okay. provide um, a kind of restraint on the part of uh, lending institutions, um, you know, uh, you know, as they deal with, um, you know, state, state government. So I, I think fiscal responsibility has to be taken at the highest level. The president has to take that decision. Pass it on to the Minister of Finance and then the governors at the state level have to take that decision and abide by it. So whatever the Fiscal Responsibility Commission is doing in terms of rulemaking or calling stakeholders, they must have the wonderful opportunity to address the Federal Executive Council and to talk to Mr. President. There are no clearly stated sanction or punishment, either by way of imprisonment or maybe payment of fine. At 63, do we really need anybody to tell us when we are doing something wrong? Now, the sub-nationals, it is important that there is a realization that the issues raised is not peculiar to them alone. However, it is important that the solution that works for all is put in place. This isn't peculiar to one tier of government. Uh, as a matter of fact, that section refers to the, gov um, the, the various tiers of government of the Federation. So, so um, and you, as you know, if you look at federal, be it, you, you have cases of, you have situations of some 5% debt service, you, are, you have all of this. So it's not peculiar to one, one tier of government. But I think what the point to make is we all have to find a framework, we all have to find debt limits that work for all of us. Uh, we have um, um, expenditure pressures um, that have come as a result of um, inflation, as, re as a result of exchange rate volatility. Uh, we have crude prices. We have palliatives that have to be given out. We're declaring wage awards uh, in, in, across states, at court federal, and all of this. So, 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 I mean, the expectations are there. But how do we ensure that these debts uh, are used for the purposes for the for the cost benefit analysis as the FRA requires are used for capital projects are used for what should be which should be used for I, I think it should be the focus and ensuring that we'll find the framework that works for all.